what's up everybody and welcome back to another video you guys are absolutely crazy I, I didn't expect that to happen that fast man we hit 20,000 subscribers I just want to say thank you thank you for the support that was unreal so just want to say a few updates here with the truck um, my I mean because I lifted it put bigger tires on it and I don't have any tuning or anything yet my speedo is way off I mean it's like seven miles an hour off which means my odometer is also off it says since I put the lift on I've gone 201 miles and in itself I mean I guess it, I mean if I'm keeping this truck forever it really doesn't matter because I'm the only one that knows the mileage but lyometer for the MPG says I'm getting 11 8 and it used to get say 17 so I'm guessing it's actually somewhere in the 15 you know 14 range it's just because the speedo's off and it's seven miles an hour off and you know it's saying I'm using this much fuel going you know 40 miles an hour instead of actually using this much fuel and going 47 miles in an hour and seven miles is a big distance uh, when it comes to fuel consumption so with my speedo being that far off I need to get that calibrated like ASAP and there's two ways I can do that I can get a speedo calibrator which is like 300 some dollars or I just get the tuning, the delete, and the exhaust. That is honestly my um, that's my honest goal right there. Is I'm you know there's there's no reason for me to hold off and no reason for me to buy a speedo calibrator when I could just get the you know the tuning, the delete, and the exhaust. And not only will that will fix my speedo and fix the little MPG reading on there and my you know odometer, um, it'll also provide me with better MPG because all that restrictive stuff and my engine isn't eating its own poo as a lot of people with Cummins and you know the emissions and stuff say uh, because diesel trucks you know if there's extra fuel it comes out the exhaust pipe if there's extra fuel with all this emission stuff where does it go it gets stuck in the exhaust pipe and recirculated in the engine not good so gotta get the tune gotta get the delete gotta get the exhaust then is more power which means a clutch will probably be next after that um, uh, a dual disc I don't know if I want to go for layer or or south bend um, so if you guys have any recommendations anybody with a Cummins or something with a uh, manual transmission out there like a fit of a layer or a south bend um, let me know a lot of people want to know yes I will be color matching um, I'm gonna you know do the black uh, smoked head and tail lights uh, I'm gonna do a lot of things. Uh, I eventually want to swap gears to uh, the 342s. They're not bad. I mean, the truck handles just fine. Uh, I'll make another video on that. But uh, I eventually want to flop the. A lot of people who run this 37s on these trucks go four or five sixes, which um, I eventually want to do, and that will help the uh, MPG and performance of this truck as well. So that will be rad. So those are the you know the short term goals of this truck gears, clutch, tuning, delete, exhaust, color match, and some smoked heads and tails. That in itself will completely change the truck, not only looks, but performance and power. So now here comes a topic with every build. First of all, this truck is mean, it's green, it's, it's big, it looks great. When you spend this much money on a truck, you don't want to cut corners and don't want to, you don't want to spare any expense. Even if, even if it's just like, you know, it's your first truck, you're 16, uh, you're watching these videos and you're, you know, you're like, man, your truck's so cool, I want to have one that cool one day. Um, like I said, it all didn't start with brand new Cummins, it started with a 03 F250 gas. When you're doing modifications to trucks and you, you're spending your hard earned money on your vehicle, whether it's a, a, a car, um, a truck, a Jeep, you know, you lift it, you slam it, uh, you put more performance on it. All those involve tires. If any of you are asking, does this rub? And as you can see here, this is how far I am away from rubbing. Uh, the only time it has rubbed, I'm going on like an extreme incline, it'll catch this plastic here, but I'm probably going to heat that up and uh, push this back so that's out of the way. But back to my topic, tires. Whether you slam your truck, lift your truck, or do anything, any performance or whatever, tires is a big part of that. As you can see, I've got 37, 1350, R22 Toyo Open Country MTs. Now most of you guys know that these tires are not cheap, and here's why. Here's the reason why I put tires that if 
I remember correctly, the MSRP on these. I can't, I can't tell you the exact change, but it's like, I believe it's 571, two, three, or four dollars a piece for these tires. I can't tell you the exact number, but it's about $570 a piece. Part of my job involves mounting and balancing large tires and even small car tires and stuff like that. Um, part of my job involves mounting tires. I see this come through all the time I, and I've been there. Like I said, it all started with a uh, 2003 F250 and it all started, you know, there. And then from there on, I, I've been through this before. You know, my other Cummins, uh, my Jeep, I've been through this. The same process every time. And now working with this daily, I, I see the same thought process of other people. You get these nice trucks, you put your hard earned money, even if it's, you know, you work hard for your truck, you get no five Duramax, you get something. You get something that you've put your hard earned work, money, and heart into. You get anxious, you don't want to spend the extra dime, and you want to cheap out on tires. I'll tell you why you never want to do that. First reason is noise. The cheaper the tire, the louder it will be. Simple as that. These Toyos, I mean obviously they're mud tires, they don't sound crazy loud. I mean you hear that they're getting more road contact than a and grip than a street tire, but they aren't loud. But when people come in and they're like, I want these cheap tires, they'll be so much louder, I can promise you that. Not only will be, they will be louder, they will wear down that much faster. Cheap tires do not last as long as expensive tires. I promise you that. We'll put, you know, someone will come in, they say, I want them cheap tires. I, I tried, I tried to change their minds and they still roll with the cheap tires. 20,000 miles later, they're hitting the wear marks already. They're saying you need to replace your tires. The treads all the way down. If you don't know what those are, if you look in your tires, whether it's a car, truck, tire, this mark right here, this is kind of where, you know, once this tread meets this line, you should be getting new tires. But I'm talking 20,000 miles one year later, you're hitting those lines. Trucks like this, people say, you know, yeah, I've hit 35, 40, 45,000 miles on Toyo, Nitto, uh, you know, name brand tires. So they said they're not gonna last as long. So you're, you know, you're saving, oh man, they're 100 bucks less a tire. Okay, you're saving 100 bucks less a tire, but you're gonna have to replace them twice or three times as more often. So who's really saving money? Not you. And now my biggest thing with cheap tires is, like I said, I mountain balance them all day long. They ask for a lot of weight, they do not balance. They will shake on your car. You're driving your car and they are not a smooth ride. Your steering wheel will shake because the tires are not made uniformly like the more expensive tires. They're not, they're not flat. They're out of round all day long. That's what I'm saying. You might get a lucky set of cheap tires that roll smooth, is made correctly because there are of cheap tires, some of them, are made perfectly, they do roll smooth. So the chance of you getting a good set is like no. So you spend a lot of money on these tires just to put them on your truck you saved and worked hard for. Just to realize your truck now rides like crap. So you're saving, you know, 100 bucks, 130 bucks, or anywhere from even on the smaller tires, 30, 40 bucks more a tire. Okay, so you're saving, you know, 500 bucks on your set of tires. They're gonna be loud, obviously referring to mud tires and, you know, aggressive tires. They're gonna be loud. They will wear out faster. They will probably not balance correctly and they will make your truck ride or your Jeep ride like crap. So not only that, you're gonna be spending more money to replace your set either up front because they ride like junk or you are replacing them after about 20,000 miles because they wear down so much faster. But at the end of the day, this truck rides like factory, like stock because I got good tires on it. The only way your vehicle is gonna move is with tires. Why would you cheap out and not give your vehicle the best ride it possibly can? Because that's the only way a vehicle moves is with tires. Without tires, the thing's a, a sitting duck. You need good tires on your car, your truck, your Jeep, your whatever. Give it the ride you want. Sure, it's gonna cost you more money, but there's no reason to cheap out. And I know people are gonna watch this video and be like, man, I'm, I am I think I'm just gonna give the cheap ones a shot. I'm gonna say good luck. If you're a lucky one that gets a good set, congratulations. I'll see you in another year when you come back on this video and you say, man, you were right, they wore out. And I'm gonna say, yeah. I told you so. This is coming from a tech's point of view. I do this stuff daily, man. Every, that's why I, I've got Toyo Open Country MTs. Yeah, the price hurt. At $570 a tire, are you kidding me? But you gotta pay to play, man. There is no reason to not buy good, quality, expensive tires. If you look at this, look at this wheel here. You wanna see how well these balance? You can see that 
6.25 ounces, and that's it, the whole wheel. You put your hard-earned money into the, whatever vehicle you bar, whether it's brand new, or like I said, it's a, you know, it's a nice old gem. Whether it's an old, like, 2006 Cummins 05 Duramax, whatever you, you saved up your hard-earned money to buy, don't cheap out and make the ride that you saved up for ride like junk. Like I said, this thing rides like a dream. No problems, no vibrations, no shaking, no nothing. Just because you do it right. Sure, it costs more. Like I said, that, that, that price tag is a big ouch. But I, I can ride my truck in comfort and not have to worry. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you again for 20,000 subscribers. I'm going to say take care. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. And don't cheap out.